what's up guys, Snoopy Minotaur here, and yes, welcome to the worst exclusive cosmetics in Fortnite. If you guys saw my best exclusive cosmetic video, you guys know that this is the second part to this two-part video here, and now we're gonna be talking about the worst cosmetics, and there's a lot of really bad exclusive cosmetics that we have gotten in Fortnite, and I cannot mention every single one of them on this video here. I did want to pick out a few of them for this video for me to discuss with you all here, so without any hesitation, we're gonna hop right into it. Keep in mind, this is my own personal opinion if you do want to support the channel even further by subscribing to the channel obviously i mean that's obviously a thing don't forget to use my support care code within the fortnite item shop or consider using it which is middle five that is m-i-n-o-5 hashtag ad so let's begin with our first spot on this video here and this is actually going to be the very first twitch prime pack now i will say there actually was quite a bit out of this pack here but i'm mostly i'm going to be talking about the skins here which is sub commander and havoc i'll start off with havoc first here so havoc is pretty much just a raptor reskin it's really nothing crazy it does have a decent color scheme with it being black i do really like that also i will say he has actually a really good back bling but the skin itself is just very unoriginal and it's just another one of those reskins i get that this is one of the first ever exclusives we ever got in fortnite but literally one of the next exclusives that we got after this was royale bomber which was another raptor reskin which was way better in my opinion havoc is just not really a great exclusive skin and it doesn't really scream twitch well i will say that the sub commander skin which i'll talk about right now does kind of fit into that context here but again it's just a very basic boring skin i will say that the purple on him while there isn't a lot of it on him is not terrible it's just a very bland skin and that's really sad because i actually will say that the second twitch prime pack with trailblazer was way better than what we got with this first one even though the first one did come with quite a bit of cosmetics like also a glider a pickaxe and a few emoticons but overall this first twitch prime pack really wasn't anything crazy and i actually will say it really is one of the weakest exclusive skins more or less in terms of both the skins in general here in the game all right so this next one here is gonna be a little bit controversial here but i really wanted to talk about these here on the channel i've mentioned them in videos before but never really got the chance to really talk about them here up until right now this is going to be the creator bundles now you might be wondering what these even are essentially a hand selected group of content creators back in 2022 this happened twice by the way had the opportunity to have their own cosmetics in the game they were not icon series even though i actually would say that they should have been and they essentially had their cosmetics be themed around their logos which is pretty cool there was banners sprays and emoticons for all seven of the content creators who did get them and i will say this was a huge accomplishment for them you know huge congrats to them for getting into the game that's great but you might be wondering yourself, why are these on the worst list for cosmetics here? Well, I will say this. The idea for these cosmetics was pretty cool, but the execution and the way you essentially even attempted to try and get any of these was horrible. Because number one, these were one-use codes, meaning that pretty much one person can only use a code, and then you would get this. I mean, that's fine and all, but when there's a very limited amount of codes, number one, and number two, you had to essentially watch a lot of these content creators on Twitch and get points to get them which was pretty cool i know they did giveaways things like that i know there was other ways to get them i remember people were having bots on these twitch streamers that were literally stealing codes and selling them for like over 150 bucks for most of them which is just insane and i remember one of the creators repaz i think that's how you say his name i'm sorry if i say that they're completely wrong i remember that he actually didn't give out all of his codes and his cosmetics are the rarest out of all seven of the content creator bundles because he didn't give them out and there was barely any codes even made. I know Haystand recently announced that he's bringing back his stuff, which is great. But these honestly sh just should have been normal Twitch drops, which are tied to those content creators. You watch them for a certain period of time, and then you would get these cosmetics in game. Like, it's just that simple. Overall, these cosmetics, while I do think that the idea was definitely there, the execution and the way that you pretty much had to get them were just so poorly handled. Next, I got another skin for you all here, and this is Neo Versa. This is the second ever PlayStation exclusive they actually had to go out and buy a console for. So this skin essentially followed in the same path as Royale Bomber, and this skin was terrible. I actually got this skin, by the way, because I'm not kidding when I say this here. When this skin was available to purchase, more or less within codes everywhere, people bought a lot of codes for these skins. 
I remember codes were going for five bucks for this skin at one point. I think it went lower as well. I think at some point, I think it was at like three bucks, which that is absolutely insane for an exclusive. But anyways, Neo Versa, in my opinion, is just not a good skin. And the reason why she's actually making this video here was the timing of her release. She was released in season nine, by the way. And this was literally the exact same season to when we had the original Versa skin come out. So essentially, they made a blue version of Versa a skin that came out the exact same season, might I add, only for them to put it behind a PlayStation bundle. This skin just felt extremely rushed, just that then they can push out a new bundle for PlayStation. I don't know what to really say. Like, this is just a very boring skin. It's nothing to really write home about, and it's just absolutely lazy, in my opinion. This is one of the most laziest exclusive skins in Fortnite that we ever got. Oh, but now it's time to piss off people again here, ladies and gentlemen. You guys knew he was gonna make this video here. It is Hunt Master Saber. As you all know, I did diss this skin quite a bit in one of my previous videos, and people actually got mad over this skin. Now, if you like this skin, that's totally fine. I could definitely see why people would like this skin, but for those who really like this skin, would you have rather have had this skin be an Xbox exclusive, like how it is right now, or an item shop skin? Because this skin should have been an item shop skin, not an Xbox skin. With that being said, it is still the worst Xbox skin in the game because of that reason. Like, they literally put a storyline character behind a $300 paywall. Like, what were they thinking with that? And that's absolutely sad because I know people were pretty excited about this skin when it was initially out back in Chapter 3 Season 2 as a boss that you can actually defeat on the map. And people were wondering, hey, when are we actually going to get this as a skin? And when we finally did, it was a huge slap to the face as they announced it as an Xbox Series S exclusive. Like, what in the hell were they thinking with this? Overall, Huntmaster Saber, it's not a good skin in terms of that regard. It's still not a good skin as an exclusive, but as a standalone skin, he's not terrible, but I do understand why people would like this skin nonetheless. Next up, I got a back bling for you all here, and this is one that's probably even more lazy than Neo Versa. And I'm not even exaggerating when I'm telling you that here because this backbling is called Poison. And you might be wondering yourself, Snooey, I have this. And well, I mean, I don't know if I don't know if people even got this backbling or whatnot, but let me explain this backbling here. Because people probably have this in that kind of context here, because this backbling is actually a reskin of the Treasy backbling with the one of the edit styles that he came with, the custard edit style. It's literally that edit edit style they literally took that edit style and made it into a separate back bling and you might be wondering how do you how do people even get this how did people even get this more or less the way you had to get it was by reaching level 200 back in chapter 5 season 2 before april 9th out of all dates apparently there was a bug that happened and for people who did reach that point they got this backlink as a compensation for saying sorry from Epic. And um, yeah, there's not much to really say about it. They literally took an edit style from an already existing cosmetic and made it into a separate backlink. Like what else is there to say about this? It's just not good at all. It's nothing to write home about. Literally, you can have the other backlink on and there's literally no difference. I'm dead serious with you. Next up, I wanted to talk about the Fleet Force bundle. This is a bundle that was released for Nintendo Switch. And this came with the Electric Claw Pickaxe and the squad sail glider now i actually will say this here the electric claw pickaxe is actually pretty good okay that's actually the big positive around this whole bundle here however everything else completely sinks for this whole bundle itself here the first one here the squad sail glider it's utter garbage it's just a chapter 2 default glider with wildcats blue edit style that that's all it is and number two this bundle should have just been with wildcat this is wildcats accessories and they sold it completely separately in a joy con bundle for $80 when it first initially came out. I'm not kidding when I say that. I don't know why they decided to not put this with Wildcat herself, but that's, I don't know what really went through their minds on that one and how they went to that decision. This is a really bad pack in that kind of regard here because this should have just been with Wildcat. Like there was no point of them putting this behind an $80 paywall. And again, it's just nothing crazy. It's a pickaxe and a glider while the pickaxe 
effect is really good the glider is really not good at all and this is not worth 80 dollars. i'm telling you that right now and i'm pretty sure it's gone up in price i'm pretty sure so it's not worth it this is just not worth it at all now you guys knew that this set was going to make this video here because he is in the thumbnail ladies and gentlemen surf strider i've already talked about this skin with how bad it is because it's just really not a good exclusive this is an exclusive for intel by the way you had to have an intel processor and you would get a code for this skin for absolutely free which i will say that the way they gave out this skin which was actually a couple times they did it again within a game pass for intel which was pretty cool was done pretty well however does that make it a good exclusive fuck no baby because i really feel like this skin completely sunk all the way down because number one the design is just really not good it's just a very boring bland skin and the pickaxe and glider don't even help it's literally the chapter 2 default glider and pickaxe just with a blue color scheme like i will say the color scheme is the only thing that's probably saving this set here but other than that this should have never been an exclusive and this being one of the only few pc exclusive skins that we ever got in the entire game is an absolute joke i'm dead serious with you this is not a good exclusive at all i never see this skin even when it was out by the way which this skin released around the same time when wildcat came out i did not really see anybody really going for this skin even when it came out for the second time like it's that bad of a skin in my opinion but we're gonna move on from here to the final cosmetics here and i say cosmetics you guys knew this was gonna be on here the band flare pack the most recent playstation plus pack and i could have again put a lot of playstation plus cosmetics on here because there's a lot of them which are really not great but this one in my opinion is arguably the worst playstation plus pack we have ever gotten in this game's history because this is literally the definition of lazy they decided to take four random fortnite festival emotes some of which have been in the files since the beginning of chapter five and put it into a playstation plus pack it, this just felt extremely rushed it didn't feel like there was really any effort put into it because these emotes should have just been released in the item shop or should have just been challenge emotes not playstation emotes and playstation gets a lot of criticism because they keep putting emotes behind here they've done it plenty of times with introducing and square up which i would have passed those off going like okay that's fine but when they kept doing it again and again it was starting to get on people's nerves and then this one right here was the nail in the coffin i would say that this pack is just really boring it's just really lazy this is absolutely embarrassing that they even passed this off as a playstation exclusive like i don't even know what to say i generally have no words for it but ladies and gentlemen that is it for today's video i really hope you all enjoyed if it did happen to enjoy this video consider subscribing to the channel don't forget to check out my twitter akmx account and also don't forget to use my support credit code within the fortnite item shop that's min05 that's m-i-n-o-5 hashtag ad thank you all so much for watching i love every single one of you remember everyone it's always good to take chances